Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Convos with Margaret. I am your host, Margaret. For those of you that don't know me, I am a wife, mom, a grandma, lover of the Lord. Oh, and I'm 46. <laughs> and this is my coffee, and it's really good today. I like my coffee with a little mocha action going on. So, I wanted to get on here and just say good morning, and I'm happy to be here. And I wanted to talk about my weekend. So, um, actually, I'm going to backtrack. I want to I wanna talk to you. I want to tell you a little story. So, there was this, um, this single mom, and um, she was single at 23, and she had two children, a little boy and a little girl, and um, she had never been uh, on her own ever in her life and then all of a sudden she's divorced and she's got babies and um, that transition was a little hard hey Teresa that was a little hard on her um, and the hardest parts were that she worked full-time job and of course as everybody knows <laughs> moms have a job on top of a job because you work all day and then you come home and you have laundry to do you have dinner to cook you have homework to do and um, you know the day never seems to end and then on top of that the majority of the single moms are living paycheck to paycheck um, heaven forbid if the car breaks down or uh, you know the furnace goes out or something catastrophic like that because you know there's just no extra money so let alone um, and especially in this situation there was no money for the extra stuff and she had a son who was self-taught uh, in gymnastics and um, he flipped and, and flipped and flipped all over the house all the time. He could do the splits um, and all these amazing things. And of course, he loved doing the splits in a room full of men, <laughs> which is funny. Um, but he loved it. And she wanted with all of her heart to be able to put him in gymnastics classes but she couldn't afford him. And, you know, you look at your children and you're like, wow, you know, if if I could have afforded this, what, what, where would you be right now, you know? And, um, good morning, and, um, yeah. So, in addition to that, um, I had to put my six-month-old baby into daycare and sorry the story's about me in case you can't tell the tears gave it away um, my six-month-old baby had to go to daycare and my older children I was married I was a stay-at-home mom and so I got to raise them until they were almost school age definitely preschool age so Putting my six-month-old baby into daycare killed my soul. But here's what happened. <laughs> what happened was I worked a full-time job, and I applied for daycare assistance. But guess what? I made $20 a month too much to qualify for daycare assistance. So what does that mean? 
that $20 is not going to pay for daycare. So guess what happened? I had to make a choice. I have to send my kid to daycare because I have to go to work or we're going to lose everything. I have to have a car to get there. So guess what happened? I ended up having to sell my house because I couldn't make the payments. And, um, of course it all worked out. God worked it out. Um, you know, and I'm here today, but these were some of the struggles that I went through in my life. So I brought all that up to say this. This weekend, I was in Dallas at a convention, and I saw the most amazing things, and I heard the most amazing stories. And they touched my heart because single woman after single woman after single woman was walking across the stage to be recognized for their accomplishments. And the majority of these women had changed their life in less than two years. And many of them in just over a year. And it's not, it, it wasn't about money to me, but it was about the ability to say yes to the child who can play the drums and needs lessons or the the child like my son who was a self-taught gymnast but couldn't afford the classes like to be able to see women who were who are where I was as a single mom and to know that they're not going to have to say no to those things. They're not going to have to worry about if the car breaks down. They're not going to have to worry about uh, choosing between this bill or that bill. And that's why I'm where I'm at. I'm not here. I'm not here to be about money. I, I mean, granted, one thing is going to, you know, it's going to happen, but it's, it's about the lives that are changed. I want to help people's lives be changed. That is my ultimate goal. And currently, for me, it's this business um, that I see making this happen for people. And so I want to, I want to do whatever I can do to help as many people as I can help to be able to say yes to their children for those things, those extra things, the vacation, that you know, the family vacation, to be able to say, yes, we can do that. I work all the time. I'm a you know, I'm a single mom. I'm not now, but I'm like in in the in this position of the single moms, you know, to be a single mom working all the time, because I worked full time and we never could afford to take a vacation. You know, for them to be able to say yes to their to their child. It was the most beautiful thing. It was the most beautiful thing. And I just sat in that room and just teared up because that's what I want to see. I want to see people's lives changed. And I want to help people change lives. And more importantly, I want to help people to be able to help people to change their lives. Like, this isn't about me. This is about empowering you to help somebody else change their life. So I wanted to just get on here and I wanted to share and um, thank you guys for watching and um, I'm sorry um, I do have somebody who's watching and I do not know how to say your name so I do not want to butcher it but I want to thank you for being on here with me and I'm doing great. I am doing fabulous. I had a wonderful amazing weekend and um, and I'm just really excited for the future and I'm really excited for what's what's coming and I have huge announcements. I'm just waiting. Um, hopefully tonight I'll be able to give all of the good information, but definitely I uh, should be able to uh, give you guys some great information tomorrow. So, um, hey Maria, um, she says, God is so awesome. The sacrifices we make will never be in vain. Yes, ma'am. God provides for those who put in the work. Yes. 
You saw your struggle made a way. Our children are motivation to go do our best. Thank you, Maria. I really appreciate you being on here uh, and, and talking to me. And yes, honey, I could not have made it and would not have made it without God. I'm telling you. He was my rock. He saw me through. And um, it's funny because I remember uh, my husband uh, was in the military and he got called to go to Desert Storm. And I was 17. I think I was 17 with a new baby. And I can remember thinking, I can't do this. I cannot do this. There's no way. I'm not going to make it through this. And, uh, but the Lord is amazing because he gave me the desire to make sure that in this time, my son would have the most stability. So I made a vow. And now, mind you, I hated being by myself. But I made a vow that every night that baby was going to be at home and he was going to sleep in his own bed for the duration of this time. And I did it. And it's funny because when you're going through it at the time, you think, you know, you don't see it all. But then years ahead, you look back and you're like, oh, I see. That was preparation because the Lord knew that this was going to happen. And he knew that I needed that training. And he knew that I needed to know that I could do this and that I could make it through that. And so, yes, honey, the Lord is awesome. He is my rock. He's my everything. He's seen me through so many things. And, um, but yeah, so my heart is truly here. I want to help people. I want to love on people. I want to connect to people. Um, one other thing I want to share, and I'm sorry if I'm making this too long, but one other thing I want to share is... Um, Last week, my uncle passed away, and he was 80, and um, it really put me in a position to be thinking, because I'm 46, and now granted, I don't feel like my life is, you know, anywhere close to being over, but, you know, but even looking at how many years, was that 34 years, you know, like thinking in those terms of, wow, you know, what if I only have 34 more years left? What do I want my life to look like? What do I want my life to be? I don't want to get to the end of my life and say, I should have, could have, would have. You know, I wished I would have or whatever. I want to be actively pursuing. I want to be uh, connecting to people. I want to... Um, I want to love people. I want, you know, like there's so much, especially now. It's funny because we're so super connected, but we've never been more isolated. Hey, Carolyn. And I want to be connected to people because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be laying in a hospital bed and being like, oh, man, I, I wish I could have watched XYZ on TV, you know, or I missed my show or whatever. No, it's going to be, man, I wish I would have you know, took the time and spent time with this person or that person or loved on this person or helped that person. That's what I want to do. That's who I want to be. And that's my goal. And, you know, if I only have 34 more years to do it, I'm going to do it. Hey, Amy Jo. And um, so, yeah, I'm super thankful. I'm super thankful to be here, be at, at this, at this, at this place in my life and learning the things I'm learning and doing the things that I'm doing. So, if you want to come on uh, board with me, please, I would love, love, love it. If you're somebody out there and you need a friend and you need, um, you know, somebody in your corner, please reach out to me. Reach out to me. I would love to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here because I don't want to make this too long. But thank you guys for spending some time with me. If you're watching on the replay, please comment replay and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day.